yard viewers and Avast T and all that good pirate stuff. Uh, today I am doing a black flag video about warehouse heists. And I know I already did a video a while back, the Kingston Warehouse Heist. But this one is in Havana. And then another one um, on an island. And the reason I'm doing these heists is to upgrade the Jackdaw. Um, I have most of the elite mortar, broadside cannon, ram, etc. plans. And I would like to upgrade the Jackdaw, but these take large resources of materials. And sailing the high seas and looking around to try and find ships with the right materials can be very time consuming. So you just look on the map, you find a warehouse that is full, you raid it, and you get what you get. Chances are you're going to get all of the resources you are looking for, but not in high quantities. So you got to move and do multiple warehouses. And yeah, eventually you're going to have to sail the high seas and raid ships. In my opinion, though, it's more fun to raid warehouses because then you can use the berserker darts and watch the guards and other people you zap with them. Uh, do crazy things. But I digress. Let's get on with the first Havana warehouse heist, and then we will move on to the second one. Okay, now I'm going to have Kenway dart one of the guards. I know who the key holder is, and we will see what transpires. Alto ahí. As I've said before, there's always time for looting, and you can get some bombs and darts and stuff back. Now let's continue on with this warehouse heist. Pero uno de los amigos de mi esposo nos ha prestado algo de dinero. Tengo una carga de granito para darle al puerto esperando que la descargue. 
not a bad haul overall. Uh, 40 metal is what I'm looking for, which isn't bad. I can get more on the high seas, but I'm not going to complain. Warehouses are a little more, as you can see, enjoyable to plunder because, yeah, you just saw what I did with berserker darts and a few uh, minor smoke bombs and attacks. I cleared out the warehouse without having the bells rung. Now I'm going to get back to the jackdaw and travel to another place where there's a warehouse once I find one. And first I'm going to buy some supplies here. Uh, the sword and pistol and ammunition, berserker darts, yeah, I could craft them, but why bother at this point? Uh, you're, I'm making enough money to where I can just afford to craft them. Or not craft them. Now, again, I'm going to use fast travel. And you can actually fast travel from one point to another. If I wanted to travel to a warehouse location from Havana and search for it, I can do that. I don't have to be on the jackdaw, but I'm going to take the jackdaw to see, to see what I can see. Yeah, gotta love that alliteration or whatever the heck it is. And now that we're saving, we can go out for a look-see and where can we go to and travel to. Looks like Cat Island has a full warehouse and now to fast travel to it and work my way to the warehouse and find the key holder and again rob the warehouse
the reason I use Berserker darts on people is it tends to clear the area out. The guy goes running away, and once you clear an area out, there tends to be no more people returning, and you can move around without having to worry about being spotted, and someone using the alarm bell, which is what happens, you get a bonus, you know, 400 to 750 real in order to successfully rob the warehouse without having an alarm bell ring. And I'm going to zap this guy. He goes running off in a rage. And now I worry about the guard if he comes back. But so far, no one has spotted Kenway. There's another guy still on the lower roof. And I will have to take care of him. I sleep darted the guy in the tower because it lasts longer and they won't notice he's asleep. Now if I can zap this guy with a berserker dart, he clears out and I can go climb up the tower and take down the tower guy because the berserker dart guy, he's going to go after the dude at the bell and try and take him down if there's someone guarding the bell. The guy who holds the key is a coward, and he's running away and hiding. So I'm going to get anyone around the bell cleared out as quickly as possible. And the guy I just berserk darted, he's going after the key holder maybe, or because the guy is in a rage, the key holder is now running and hiding. So now Kenway can kind of just move around and let things happen and go take out the key holder or maybe something else will happen.
I've used Berserker darts, and they've backfired on me. Uh, Kenway comes out of hiding, and the guy focuses his rage on Kenway. It's almost an instant death. That's how much damage those guys do when they're berserk. Now, the warehouse area is cleared out. And let's see what loot is available here. 20 wood, 35 metal, 35 cloth, 20 rum, and 25 sugar. And plus a 400 real bonus for Nobel's rang. Not bad. You can plunder more loot on the high seas, but you have to kind of hunt ships down and find them and decide. I attacked multiple ships because they had high amounts of metal, which is what you need for upgrading. And yeah, that's a little more interesting, but hey, it is open seas. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like th this video, hit the like button. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. I post four times a week, and you don't want to miss out. Thanks for stopping by.